When the Night Comes Out presents Jump Scares. Today's bite-sized horror is entitled House. Written by Brian W. Alaspa. Narrated and produced by Ali James. The house waited. It had waited before, and it knew it would have to wait again. That was okay. It had all the time in the world. It had time beyond the world. It was hungry, but it had been hungry before as well. They always came. The families, the souls, the new people. They had always come. It had been built by a man more than eight decades ago. The land was beautiful. Around it was nothing but pristine landscape. Nature was around it. The views were spectacular. What the humans, the families, the man who had built it, did not know was that the land itself had been cursed. Ages ago. Centuries. Again, it lived the moment the construction was finished. It hungered. It devoured. The windows were like eyes. It devoured their souls, and they became part of it. They were like a family. Of course, rumors sprouted up about the house. It didn't mind. They would come. They always came. Someone, somewhere, would see it, and it would call to them. Call to all of them, and the children would run across its floor and play in its yard. And the parents would say how beautiful the architecture was and ignore the strange feeling in their gut. Then the souls inside it would start to moan and talk and walk around. The parents would continue to ignore the feelings. And it would begin to absorb them, taking over their minds, driving into their dreams. It took patience, and over the decades, it had learned how to be patient. It would wait. It always waited. The birds chirped around it, and the animals moved in the forest. None of them came near the house. They sensed what the humans could not. It moaned. The air was suddenly filled with a howl that would make most grown men wet themselves. It stretched. The wood that comprised its walls and floors and ceilings flexed. Then it settled. Inside, the souls that had devoured moved. They groaned, and he felt some of them shifting around, moving slowly from one room to another. They were restless. They had been silent for some time now. The newest of them had been absorbed ten years ago now. Even they were restless now. They wanted action. They wanted to hunt and instill fear. They would stand back when the new family came and watch. They would observe them as they moved about, settling in. Their countless eyes would watch their every move. Then, as the house allowed them, they would start to move. They would move up and down the halls and the stairs. They would whisper, and the living would shudder, the hair standing up on the back of their necks, and they would assure themselves that the sound was just the wind. They would assure themselves that their keys had not moved on their own, but that they had placed them there on the dining room table when they knew, in their heart of hearts, that they had placed them on the mantel. It would haunt their dreams. Dreams of husbands slaughtering wives with knives, guns, axes, and other implements. There would be images of mothers drowning their children. The sounds of madness would bury itself into their subconscious, sowing the seeds, and they would awaken restless, wondering what they had been dreaming about and why. And the house would sink deeper and deeper into their minds. Eventually, it would control them, or one of them, lining them up for the slaughter. It shifted again. It was hungry, but it could wait. It had always waited, and it would keep waiting. The family would come. Maybe they were coming right now. It would shine and appeal to them, and it would imprint in their dreams. They would be unable to resist. It would wait. It would always wait. They would come. (laughs) 
Thanks for listening to When the Night Comes Out, Jump Scares. Be sure to like, share, and review. You can binge our first two seasons of full-length stories now. Until next time, try to stay safe when the night comes out. Hey guys, we appreciate your continued support, but we also would like to create a community around When the Night Comes Out. A community of horror fiction fans who support us so we can bring you even more stories, more scares, expand what we offer, and maybe even podcast merch. So be sure to visit patreon.com slash when the night comes out and become a supporter. Every amount helps. We'll see you next time, When the Night Comes Out.